You're trying to steal a duplex in Cleveland. Baxter from Texas, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Right now, I'm coming to you guys from my home studio in the day and age of social distancing, but not to fear all of our field staff, essential field staff, our workers, they're still out there in the field getting these deals done, handling these renovations. So any and all property management or investment related resources you need from our team, we are still full systems ago. We are just trying to comply and be responsible and, and do all that stuff in any, any employees that uh, can work off site are working off site, hence the home office. But don't worry guys, we're still all systems to go here in Cleveland. And I'm working with a new client, man. This is uh, Baxter. Baxter, you're from Tyler, Texas, man. And uh, you got some cash to work with. And uh, one of the biggest things, you sent me an email with like a whole bunch of information and we'll, you know, we'll get through all that, all that information about you in the coming videos. But one of the biggest things that stood out to me, right? Two things. Number one, you are really interested in the metro health area. Number two, you really want cash flow, a ton of cash flow. And uh, you got a deal in the works where you directly reached out to a, uh, a seller, it looks like, for an unlisted property. And we're going to get into that because you're trying to steal that deal. And if you, could, if you could take that down the way you're trying to take it down, holy crap, you're going to make a lot of money. But I'm not too confident the seller is actually going to sell it to you for the price you think he is because uh, that would just be crazy. But before we get into that, what I want to do, because you are so interested in the metro health area, I want to take you to a quad, 3186 West 52nd. I already analyzed this for a previous client uh, a ways back, okay? What had happened is that property just hit the market, beautiful quad, and um, it immediately went under contract, I believe, uh, with another buyer, not me or my client. And it has since come back on the market. My client no longer interested. And I think it would be perfect for you. So I want to, his name was Eric, by the way. So I'm going to take you to the footage that I filmed for Eric when I analyzed it for him. So you can get an understanding of what we're talking about. And uh, that is a quad listed by a EXP Realtor, 3186 West 52nd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is a brand new listing on the market for 135900 just listed five days ago. Now, Eric, a little bit more about you. Uh, I already you know, touched on this. You made your money. Uh, you work in the marijuana industry. You just recently did a, a 1031. You have $180,000 cash to utilize. You're interested in C or B locations, but this ain't your first rodeo, bro. You've already got properties in multiple locations. You got, you got property in Portland, Oregon. You got some property here in Lorain, Ohio, which is just a little west of the Cleveland area. Uh, Holton Wise, just so everyone knows, we do manage in Lorain. Uh, that is outside of Cuyahoga County, but we manage in Cuyahoga County as well as any county that touches it. So that's on the outskirts of uh, where we operate, but we do work there too. Your risk tolerance is moderate to high, which would make sense considering you got a decent chunk of money. You got solid revenue coming in. You've already been in the real estate business. So you're looking for that cash flow and you're willing to take on some risk to get it, which is good because this particular property, this, uh, just so you know, Eric, this is not actually a C or B neighborhood. I would consider this to be a D neighborhood. Okay. So pulling it up on the map here. All right. We are in the Clark Fulton neighborhood. So this is very much a D class location, but what is nice, uh, Right up in, I think it should be, it's kind of hard to tell from the map, but it should be like right up in here is where Metro Health is. And Metro Health is big because 
Metro Health is actually investing almost a billion dollars into that initial, that immediate neighborhood, right? Metro Health, very large hospital. They're they're putting a mi- a billion bucks, billion B with billion with a B like boy. They're putting a billion dollars into that immediate neighborhood and development over there. There's a few articles and stuff about it, so I'll link to some of those below. So that makes me like this D-class area more than other D-class areas. Now, as of right now, you're still going to get all the risk associated with a D-class neighborhood. So don't think just because Metro is planning on putting a billion bucks in there, you're going to get yourself uh, higher quality tenants today. You will not, right? It's just normal D-class living. If uh, you're not sure about D-class living or anybody else who's not as familiar with the real estate game as my guy Eric is, you're going to want to check out the Tenants from Hell show. I'll link to a few of those in the show notes below as well. Uh, that you know, Evictions, difficult tenants, uh, property damage, those types of things are going to happen. So we're going to run through the numbers on this property, but, you know, we're going to be evicting folks. We're going to run into bad tenants. You know, these are just the things you're going to see. But I, I think from a cash flow perspective, this property's priced well uh, for the risk. I like the property. I, I think you buying it is probably a pretty good move, but I just want to make sure you're aware of those risks. Um, but in addition to all those risks, I still see a nice little cherry on top because I, I see this particular D-class neighborhood being one of the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area that has a good chance of possibly moving on to a, a higher value neighborhood. So that's my thoughts on that. As for the prop, well, first let's read, let's read what they said, okay? The agent said 21.17% cap rate. Great for any investor looking for immediate cash flow. This property offers a total of four units with each unit collecting six fifty per month. Each unit is two beds, one bath, and two of those units has Section 8 tenants in there. That's great. Section 8 is the right move for a property like this in this level of risk. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. So if we have 650 coming in out of all four units, that means we're bringing in a total of 2600 a month or $31,200 a year, fully occupied, so you don't have to worry about placing any tenants right now. Now, the listing agent, she said that it's a 21.17 cap rate. That's the thing, right? That's why people, you know, that's why you guys get these analysis from me, right? I'm going to shoot you through the fluff. I'm going to shoot you straight. Most of the real estate professionals out here in this market, they're not typically working with real estate investors. They're seeing these properties as homes for people to live in. They're not necessarily looking at them as investment vehicles, and they might not have a, a firm grasp on the realities of this business because, you know, this particular agent, she's saying that it's a 217 Uh, Cap rate. Me, on the other hand, I do not think so. I I ran the numbers myself on what I think this property will produce, and it ain't a 21.17 cap. It's it's a nice cap. It's it's high, but it ain't that number. So let's just go through the numbers quickly. 2,600 a month comes in. Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment cap X, 130 a month on all three of those. You got to account for that stuff. Now, I think the reason the listing agent has got such a high cap is she's not accounting for that, right? She's probably only accounting for things that are happening every single month, not accounting for things that are variable in nature, right? Like you don't have to replace the roof today, but every 30 years you're going to have to replace that roof, and that's going to be a cost of big old property like this, probably close to $10,000. So you got to factor that in. You don't have any vacancy or tenants not paying rent today, but you got to factor that in because that's going to happen. This is D-class investing. You ain't ever going to get away from that. Same thing with repairs and maintenance. So we're going to calculate 130 for all three of those. Taxes, 118 a month. Insurance, 80. By the way, in the show notes below, quit, click to get a quote on this particular property or anyone else who's watching. Click there to get a quote on any property anywhere in the United States of America that's a rental. We at Holton Wise own a farmer's franchise, and we are also appointed with various other independent insurance providers looking to find you guys the lowest possible premiums because that's all we do baby we just handle the rental insurance so we get your premiums low 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 and for this particular property we should be able to have you only paying 80 bucks a month water sewer you got to account for that that's going to be about 300 a month lawn care 44 and property management should be 260 so the total expenses on this you know you're going to bring in you're scheduled to bring in 26 but you should on average spend 1192 which leaves you with an NOI of 1408 a month or 16896 a year 
on average. Now, doing the numbers, that is only a 12 cap. Does that mean that's a bad deal? No, not at all. It's still a pretty solid deal, but it is absolutely not over 21. That is just uh, not realistic. If you were to finance this, I know you got 180k cash, so you could take it down cash if you wanted. I don't necessarily think you need to or should, though, right? This is a quad. This is the most amount of rent checks you can get coming in for the fewest amount of residential mortgages. So if I were you, I'd put it on a 30-year loan. You only got to put down 34,975. Bank will loan you the other 104. Your mortgage is small, 531. After you pay off your mortgage and, you know, the property performs, you know, similar to how I, I guesstimated it would on a semi-annual or semi-regular basis, you should be making on average 877 a month, which would be a 30.1% cash on cash return. So extremely high cash on cash return if you finance this. That's just a ton of rent coming in. And, you know, getting a 30-year loan on something like this, that's amazing, guys. Whenever you're buying real estate, my favorite property of all time is the quad. Because the number one reason I think you should invest in real estate is you get to pick up these assets. But if you can get the bank to lend you the majority of the money on a really great term, you let the tenants pay off your loan for you, right? So you collect the asset. The tenants pay off your liability, which is your mortgage. It's the best business ever. All right, Baxter, welcome back. So I thought the deal made sense for Eric. Uh, but again, he's out of the picture Property's now back on the market, so I think this one is right up your alley. I think you should make a move on that. If you're interested in doing that, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, or just reply to the email that I've sent you this video, and we will go ahead and put in your offer. I guess that is unless you can take this particular deal down. Right now, it sounds like you got 50 k in cash, uh, but you're soon to have another twenty to 30000 in the next coming months. And you've been talking to a seller directly for a duplex, 4226 Bucyrus Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Now, this is not listed. You've just been talking to this seller directly. And if you could take the deal down for what you're talking about, oh man, holy bejesus, you're going to make a ton of money. Now, pulling it up on Google Earth. I believe, because I, I, I zoomed in quite a bit, and you can see on one of the mailboxes, it says 4224, and uh, the next one over would be 4226. This is going to be a side-by-side -side duplex. The information that you have given me thus far is, is semi-limited, okay? Essentially, what you're doing is you're telling me you want to be able to pick this thing up for 45000 cash. I don't know if you and him, the seller, you guys had tossed that number around. If you can pick it up for $45,000 in cash, you have just stolen this property from this man because this property is definitely worth a lot more than $46,000. Um, what you've given me and uh, your numbers, they seem to make uh, some sense. What you've said, because you, you said it's occupied right now, but you didn't give me the rental amount, but that's okay because I got the market rents. Your plan for this property is to pick it up now, cash. You're trying to get it for $45K. And then eventually when those tenants turn, you want to do a total renovation and turn this thing. Looks like you want to burr it out. And your numbers, they make sense. You gave me, um, these are the numbers you provided to me. You want to do the roof, which should cost approximately 7K per year estimation. Yeah, that makes sense. You want to do two furnaces. You quoted them at 3,500 a piece. Uh, they should probably actually be a little cheaper. That should only be about 3K. So you've uh, accounted 7K for that though, but you're a K over. Hot water tank, you've got two, so $2,000 there. Updating the insides of the units, you've budgeted approximately 6 k per unit. So all in, you're at an all-in approximate estimate for your rehab at 35000 I would say that's a fair estimate, right? Again, I think uh, you probably overestimated about $1,000 uh, for the furnaces, but I'm sure something will pop up to where, you know, a full renovation of that scope should be you know, around the $35,000 range. That would put you all in at $80,000 if you were able to pick it up from this guy at your anticipated price of $45,000. And then you're saying you believe you'd be able to rent each of those units for $725 a month. The good news is you'd actually be able to get a higher rent roll. Each of these units should rent for $750 a month, so that'd be $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year coming in. I really, really like this property because it is a side-by-side -side layout. Now, here's the thing. Back to Google Earth, though. I just want to verify it. Now, 
There's no pictures of this anywhere online. It's a, it's a completely unlisted property. You somehow, maybe you're doing direct marketing. However, you got a hold of this seller. Uh, that's great. You're doing great work there. Now, looking at these two homes right here, we have in the center, we got like a silver SUV type deal. If it's the house to the left, which I'm like 99% sure it is, because again, I, I zoomed in and you can see the address a little bit on the mailbox. If it's that house, you got a big side-by-side -side layout and you are literally stealing this sucker. Now, if it's, if it's not that house and it's the one to the right, which I don't think it is, but just in case it's not, just so you know, that house directly there to the right, that like tan looking thing with the, the brown pillars, that particular property will not be worth as much as this one because it's not a side by side layout. And it appears to be, if it is a duplex, it's a single family conversion. So number one, not a true duplex. Number two, not a side by side duplex. So that particular property would never hold as much ARV as the one that you're looking at, assuming it's the white and gray one, which again, 99% sure it is. I just want to make you aware that it's got to be this true duplex with the side-by-side -side layout because you're never going to get the same value out of because we have a lot of them in the Cleveland market you get these old single-family colonials that were built in like 1915 1920 and then later you know maybe around the 50s or so they convert them to duplexes they're never true duplexes they never have the same square footage the layouts are always wonky sometimes the upstairs tenant doesn't have access to the basement in case they're breaker trips whole bunch of issues there, right? So you'll never get that maximum value. You'll never be able to get the ARV, what it could be with the true duplex. But with a true duplex, like the one I believe you're buying, you can get a huge value. And on top of that, you're going to have lower issues with your tenants because there's nobody living above or below each other. So if you go in and you do that renovation, you're talking about that $35,000 renovation. I believe you'll be able to get this property to appraise for $100,000, even though you're all in, if you bought at 45, you'd be all in for 80. Now, as far as the cash flow numbers, what would they look like? Well, if you're bringing in 1500 a month, you got 75, we're going to budget for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment CapEx. Now, all your CapEx will be new, right? Your brand, you don't got to worry about a roof for 30 years. You don't got to worry about your furnaces for 30 years. You don't got to worry about your hot water tanks for 15 years. You can do all the work you're talking about, but we're still going to calculate that in there because eventually those things will need to be replaced again. Now, taxes would be down, right? Currently, right now, the taxes on this property are 1893 a year because the county has this property appraised at a value of about 66,000. If you actually pick it up at 45,000, you would then be able to challenge your taxes and get your taxes reduced because they would just probably go off of the new price you paid, which would be 45K. So your taxes would go down. It actually might be 12.55 a year, 104 a month. Insurance, my team, we'd be able to cover that for you. 60 bones a month is probably what it's gonna cost. Everybody out there who's watching Baxter's video, if you're unaware, Holton Wise, we own a farmer's insurance agency. We're appointed through farmers, but we're also appointed through a bunch of other random insurance agencies you've never heard, little niche insurance agencies. We focus only on the residential and commercial rental property game. We don't really mess with like your own home or your car or, or crap like that. That's not what we do. We are, you know, a landlord focused company. So all we do is beat down rental premiums and we're in multiple states, coast to coast guys, not just Cleveland. So if you are interested in saving money on your insurance premiums in the show notes below, I got a link. Why don't you guys click that, fill it out. Let us get you a quote. It takes one to two days, you know, no risk, you know, you're not committed to anything, but I guarantee you, we should be able to beat down your premiums, right? You know, in the days of social distancing and the virus, man, some people are having a hard time bringing new income in. So a great way to make more money is keeping all of your money right now from going out the back door. So let us help you out. With insurance, water, sewer, that should be 150 bones. Lawn care, home wise, we take care of that for you. Should estimate out to 44 a month. You know, you don't have a lot of snow in Texas, but uh, here in Cleveland, we got a lot of snow during the winter, so we don't cut 12 months a year. Uh, but the total cost for the year should be about 528. It's uh, 16 to 18 times a year we're cutting. And then PM will be 150. So you should, on average, long term with this particular property, spend about 733, which would leave you with 767. Now, doing that renovation, getting it to appraise for 100k, which if you did all that work, brother, it would absolutely be worth 100k. That means the bank would loan you 75,000 dollars if you bought it for 45, which again would be a freaking steal. 
and you put your 35 into it, you'd only end up with 5K into this deal. So after you pay off your mortgage, you know, you would still be making an average of 54, 12 a year, which is more than 100% cash on cash return. That would be a 108% cash on cash return. But that's the thing, right? Why would the seller actually sell this property to you uh, for 45,000? That, that doesn't make any sense. Now you haven't given me like a ton of information on the condition of this property, but based upon you know your repair estimation, you're going into this assuming you need to do any and everything. But I don't see why you would need to do all that. Like who's to say you need to do both furnaces? Who's to say you need to do the roof? Who's to say you need to do both hot water tanks right now? Like you said, there's two tenants in there already paying. So, you know, it's not like it's a gutted out property where all the mechanicals don't work. You know, those mechanicals one would assume are currently working right now. So don't think the only way this deal makes sense is if you buy it at 45,000, because like, dude, I mean, I see no reason why that seller would sell this to you at 45,000. I mean, that again, that would be insane. I cannot stress to you enough how insane that would be without knowing what the current rents are and the current condition of this property. It's hard for me to put an exact value on it, but it ain't 45000 dude. I mean, as it currently sits, I would assume this duplex, as it currently sits, if the tenants are paying like anything above six hundred, and like all of the mechanicals are like mid to end of life, the property as it currently sits is probably worth seventy five to 80000 just as it sits right now. Um, doing that big old rental, everything brand new. Yes, we'll get an ARV of 100. Uh, it won't go up much higher than that, even though you're putting such big money into it because you're just gonna be capped at the neighboring value. So the neighboring values is cool, right? It, it's a, this is a double-edged sword though, right? It caps you up at the top. So even if the property itself right now, today is worth 75,000 and you wanted to do that $35,000 renovation, you would be all in to the property for more than what the ARV was. Cause even if it's worth 75 K right now, which it is, and you still put another 35 in, that would be like 110,000 year all in, but the property is still only going to be worth about a hundred grand. So it hurts you a little bit there going up, but it helps you on the bottom. It keeps the, the basement higher, right? Cause 45 K no dude, it's not worth 45 K it's worth like 75 K. Um, and again, if you bought it at anywhere like 55, 65, or, you know, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 K, if you bought it at that price and those tenants are in there and they're paying a decent rent, it should probably cash flow. And then you could slowly uh, increase their rents to market or just do the, those turns at market. And then you'd want to replace those mechanicals when they go down. Right. But, you know, just assuming you need to just do 35 K right now, it, it don't make sense. But if you pick it up at 45, and then um, you end up doing that full on 35K reno before you go ahead and refi it out, you'd have one of the most successful bird deals I've ever seen here in the Cleveland market. So if you, if you can do that, man, knock it out. But as it sits right now, I, I assume this property is worth about 75 grand. So Baxter, that's uh, the first two of 10 that I'm gonna be doing for you. And in the coming videos, we'll talk more about uh, you and we'll talk about your investment goals. Um, if you want to make an offer on the quad, right, 3186 West 52nd, let my team know, sales at holtonwise.com, we'll get that drafted for you. You've been working with the seller on this particular property directly. That's totally cool, man. You can continue to do that. And then when you close on this deal, if you'd like Holton Wise to come in and take over management, we absolutely can. If you'd like us to step in and uh, act as your buyer's agent and negotiate this sale for you, we can do that too. Typically in real estate, the way it works is a property is listed by a seller's real estate agent. They put it on the MLS. That's where I usually find these properties. And they offer a commission to the people who are representing the buyer. That's what's happening in 3186 West 52nd. In the particular case of this Bucyrus property, there's no agent involved. You're talking to the seller directly. The property isn't listed. So nobody's offered to pay uh, a buyer's brokerage. So if you would like our services, we can absolutely do that for you, but we don't do it for free. We need 3%. So we're going to need you to cover that if the sellers aren't covering that. Or man, like I said, I've given you all the information I possibly can based upon what you've given me. And you seem like you know what you're doing a little bit here and, and you're negotiating with that seller directly. And you know, if you can figure out a way to get this sucker for 45 K, you don't need our services, man. You just hit the home run among home runs, brother. So uh, you could do it all on your own and then we'll just pick things up for you after you close and we'll, and we'll handle your, uh, we'll handle your property management. And also, you know, you're going to need to insure it. We'll handle your insurance. And then as far as title work, 
you need a title agency to cover that deal for you, we can take care of that too. We'll shoot you over to Black Tie Title, get you all taken care of. So that's it for now. All right, Baxter, that is it for now, man. We will uh, talk soon, and then uh, we'll go from there on your next videos. Everybody else, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one like I did here for Baxter or like I was doing in the past for Eric, that little screenshot of the quad that you saw, you just want to go to HoltonWise.com, click on the Property Search for Sale tab, click the MLS Search Analysis Show, order yourself a package. I think you guys are best served to do the 10 property package. Number one, I have discounted the price like crazy because we got a lot of stuff going on with the COVID-19. So I wanted to give you guys a nice sale, keep you guys moving, let you guys know we're still out here supporting you guys. We're very much uh, being very active when a lot of businesses are shutting down. So I discounted that like insanely the value there is you know 75 80 percent off of our normal price and what's good with that is it allows us to work long term right we get to go back and forth and discuss the market like uh you know maybe baxter's thinking that like oh man the guy wants me to pay 56 i don't want to pay 56 but literally he knows that this desire's property is actually worth about 75 80 as it sits right so we can go back and forth i can give you guys nice tips and tricks now with that new information you know, you might want to change your criteria a little bit on the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth properties you're interested in looking at. So the 10 property package really allows, you know, you and me to, to really get together and explore the Cleveland market and what you really want uh, the best and most efficient possible way. So I suggest you guys order that, but that's it for today's show. Make sure you smash that subscribe button here on YouTube so you can continue watching the content. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell.
Holtz & Wise, real estate investing made easy.